Have you ever wondered when you're looking at a house if it's in a flood zone and how to determine if it's in a flood zone? Come with me on this video. I'll show you how to do it real easy. Uh, just something you can do real simple. So come on. Hey guys, this is Jarrett with the Hardesty Team. This is where we talk about all things real estate related in the Elizabethtown, Fort Knox, and even Louisville area. I'm hoping this channel is helpful to you guys. If it is, it's helpful in any way. Please like and subscribe. It's really important to us as we try to bring you guys content that's uh, useful and informative and hopefully it's something that you guys are very interested in. And if it's not, you know, we'll try to do better. All right, guys. Um, this is just real quick, a real quick look up here. Um, I am just going to do a quick FEMA uh, flood maps. You just type in FEMA, the flood maps types up, and then you'll get this. Um, you don't want to go to that site. All right, let me look over. You want to use the FEMA maps. Um, and if you look here, you got this MC, msc.fema.gov. This is actually the one you want to use. It's real important, you know, that everybody else like tries to sell you something. So once it pulls up this here, you can put in your address. If you know a specific address, I'm not going to use a specific address on this one. It's going to type in Vine Grove. Yeah, I can't type. Sorry, guys. Vine Grove, Kentucky. I'm going to hit enter. I'm still, I guess I'm still, okay, I'm still recording. Sorry. So if you pull up here, this is, this is Vine Grove. So, um, as you can kind of zoom in and see, this is actually Joe Prather Highway. Um, this is, you know, kind of the main thoroughfare through there. You keep zooming in. See all this right here? Zone A. You can see that that's in a flood zone. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, let me look here. Get my bearings. All right. So, this is, if you can see my mouse here, this is actually... Um, the little airport in Vine Grove. This is a real popular neighborhood, but a lot of these houses on this would be like the north east side of, of this road here. The Dollar General is right here to give you right there actually give you an example. But all these little houses here are in a flood zone. Um and then you've got a couple of these houses on the other side of the creek on the other side of the airport there in a flood zone as well. So <clears throat> If you look, that's zone A. Anytime you see anything other than zone X, um, you're most likely in a flood zone. Now, sometimes when you get into this, not getting too much in the weeds here, um, you can do what they call an elevation certificate. And, and you might actually show up in this row of houses here, for example, but you may not actually be in a flood zone. But, you know, if you do see on this map, anything other than the flood zone X, um, I would start asking questions, asking your realtor, um, you know, hey, look, this is possible flood insurance deal. Flood insurance can be quite expensive. It can be a couple thousand a year, depending on where you're at. Um, and so, and that does have potential to affect the, the you know, the marketability of the property um, when you want to sell it, you know, maybe this isn't your forever home or something and you might say, hey, I want to, sell this place in three to five years and move on to something else. If you bought in a flood zone, you know, that's something else you have to consider um, in that, in that space of, you know, what's it going to take to sell a property anyway. So hopefully this kind of clears up how to do that. You can, like I say, you can always just kind of click and grab around and move your map around like so to find what you're looking for. Um, if you have any questions about it, or if you get lost on this, just reach out to us and, and I'll try to walk you through on what you're looking for. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If this was helpful at all, at all please let me know. Um, please like and subscribe. We appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week. Have a good day.